So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Again, sa lahat na nag-sub, sa lahat na sumusuporta, at tumatangkilik sa lahat ng in-upload ko, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa patuloy na nandyan po para sa akin. So again, bago na naman itong learning na ituturo pa sa inyo, so hopefully makatulong din po ako sa inyo. So this time, I'm gonna teach you on how or ways and how to create personal data sheet or PDS using Google Forms. So first thing that we are going to do is we have to go to Google Chrome. Let's go to Google Chrome. And then after, on the search box, you have to type Google Forms. Okay. And then click the first one, Google Forms Free Online Service for Personal Use. Choose personal, collect, and organize information big and small with Google Forms for free. So there are two, pur two purpose. It's either for personal or it's for business, but it's for your, or for your own naman. So we're going to choose personal. So click go to Google Forms. Then after, so here, so as what you can see, there are template, uh, templates already na, templates na already given na para sa inyo. All you have to do is just to edit. So template, this is the template gallery. If you're gonna uh, click the arrow up, arrow down, this will gonna come out. So you can create Google Forms using personal. It's either personal or it's for work or it's for education. So the, it, it's already designated by each category. So it's all depend on you on, may, on what to click. Example, if you have to click job application, job application or contact information, assessment, you can also create an assessment using Google Forms. But since this vlog is um, teaching you the ways, so let's just gonna have the blank or recently use the blank, which is with a cross sign or add sign. So just gonna click this one. Okay, so this one will gonna come out. So, and title form. So it's all up to you on what is the title of your form. Okay, so for me, since we're, uh, we're gonna do a personal data sheet, so I'm gonna title my form personal, personal data sheet for PDS. Okay, again, it's all up to you kung ano yung title na gagawin mo sa form mo. And then after, there's a form description. The purpose of description is for you, for the for the person who will check this personal data sheet. And what is the purpose of having this one, Riba? Ano yung, uh, bakit importante siya? So they already have the knowledge kung ano yung gagawin dito. So example, to know, to know my sample students background. It's all up to you and what to write on the description here. Just I'm just made this one as an example, so it's all up to you. Next, an untitled question. So you have to click that one. So here says where are you uh, going to create a personal data sheet? So I'm just gonna have the family name first. Family name. Family name. So here at the side, as what you can see, there is a dot, right? So yeah, if, if you're just going to click this one at the right side, which is nasa first four circle, so ito yung lalabas. It's either short answer or paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, trap down, file upload, linear scale, multiple choice grid, check box grid, date, time. So, dependent on yun sa inyo kung ano yung gagamitin mo. Since I'm, I'm having a, I'm doing a personal data sheet, so short answer will do. Okay, next. If 
if you're gonna click this one, this one, it says duplicate. So, automatically may duplicate tong ginawa mo. Now, if you want to delete, so just click this one and automatically mawawala to siya. This one. Next, required. If this is, this is sorry, and this is a must, then you have to turn it on. If you're gonna turn it on, it means if they're gonna skip this one, they're gonna go to another page of your form. So, they really have to fill out this form or fill up this form para makamug sila sa other section na ginawa mo. As what you can see also, there are six, six pictures at the side. So, we have the cross cross picture or it says add question next is import questions if you're going to import questions add title and description add image if you want to add image add video if you want to add video and add section so later i'm going to teach you on how to do the add section so again let's go back family name then after after the family name, we're gonna add question. So this time, we're gonna ask the first uh, family name, first name, first name, first name. Next, again, short answer. Next, required. It means this is sorry. This is sorry, Sha. Necessary. So as what you can see, once you own, uh, you, I mean, once na open your required, automatically may asterisk na lalabas. Ito yung pula. So ibig sabihin nito, it's really necessary for them to answer. Dahil kapag skinip nila ito, hindi sila mapupunta sa other sections na sasagutan nila. So first name, again family name, first name, add questions na naman tayo. Let's go to the Middle name, middle name, then short answer. I'm gonna add questions, naman. Next is birth date, birth date. Next, add question, naman. Age, short. Okay, we forgot to click required, 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 age is required, and address. Last one is address. 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 Okay, so short answer, and we have to turn on the required button. Next, the first one is about the person your, uh, you who is answering the, the personal data shit. So the next, the next, so I will gonna add section this, this one uh, within equal sign. So add question. I mean add section. Once it adds section, then they're gonna go to another section, open with the, another section. So I'll just gonna create a title. It says family background. So at first it's about personal, right? Personal. But now it's we're talking about family background. Family background. So let's have add. Add question. So, family it talks about mother. Mother. Then, short answer. Then, required. Next, we're gonna add mother with mother. Let's go to father. Ah, mother and then occupation. So, I'm gonna have this with occupation. Occupation. Mother's occupation. Mother's occupation. Oh, sorry. Mother's occupation. Next, let's get to add. Oh, we already have a section here, so we should. Don't forget to click required if it's necessary. 
Next one is, it's about father, father's name. Father's name. Example. Next, short answer. Turn on the required button. Next, we're just gonna add. It's father's occupation. Father's occupation. Occupation. Okay, so for the last one, we have also the contact number. Okay, so this ends this ends for the personal data sheet because this is just an example of on what you are going to to do or what you are going to input and how to input those things. So don't forget to click required. So it's easy for you to know if it's already required. Why? Because nandun na yung asterisk, meron siyang asterisk na makikita. It means it's, necess it's necessary. Once they will not answer that one automatically, hindi sila makakamove sa other questions na meron ka. Okay? So, this is our finished product for this time. Now, if tapos ka na dito, then as what you can see here, customize theme. So click this customize to make it more colorful para pleasing siya sa eyes. So just click this one. So when you're gonna click theme color, so automatically as what you can see, much change din yung color. Color ng sections mo, color ng background mo, uh, by purple, blue, Okay, so yan yung one of the reasons why pa, maganda talaga siyang gamitin kasi colorful siya. You can create, you can use any colors or what, what they're going to, to use. It's all up to you. Next, for this, as what you can see, there's an I. It means preview. So if you want to see uh, on what it looks like sa ginawa mo, so just click preview. Click preview. Oh, ito yung tapos finished product na ginawa mo. Personal data sheet, what is your description to know my student's background. Oh, as well, you can see there is already an uh, asterisk, right? So it means required. Family name, first name, middle name, birth date, age, address. Then if, then if they're gonna, if they're done answering, just gonna click next. Oh. Okay, so we have to, you have to answer this one first before you can move to next. So preview lang yung pinapakita ko sa inyo. Next settings. Okay, so we have collect email address. They can collect email address. Next, require sign in limit to one response or edit after submit. See summary charts and text response. For presentation, show progress bar, shuffle question order, show link to submit another response. Quizzes. So this is not a quiz, so we're just going to save this one. Show link to submit another response. Okay, so we're done making a personal data sheet using Google Form. Now let's try to use the one that we made. Kung, kung ano ba yung kalalabasan na ginawa natin. So, let's have, let's click send. Let's try. So, it's all up to you here. So, you can use email to Sino ba yung isi-send mo? You can use email sample. Okay, sample lang yan ha. Send email or you can also click the second one. It's like a uh, clip. So this one, this is the link. So once you're going to use the, copy the link, copy, and then copy, then, then you're going to you're gonna give it to someone. Let's get to open it. So this one, if they're gonna open this one, so automatically, mapupunta sila sa ginawa mo na form. So, 
example, they were going to answer. We're going to answer, try to answer this one. Agnes. Um, Agnes. Amber. Montano. Age. 24. Address. Tai. 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 Rizal. Just example. So let's try to click next. Okay, as what you can see, I skipped something, right? So, hindi ka mapupunta sa next section if ever meron kang na-skip. So, we have to add birth date. Sample, my birthday is April 15, 1995. So, let's try to click next kung pupunta ba tayo sa next section. Okay, so first our data sheet, PDS. Okay, this is the next section already, family background. So type the mother. Mother's occupation, example, has wife. Father's name. Ray White. Mother's occupation, um, motor driver. Or just mother's occupation, just, just, it's a must be a number, so it's like 12, which is like that one. Then contact number, example, your name. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try to submit this form that you already answered. Okay, as what you can see, we're done answering the personal data sheet. Now, how are we going to check the response of, of the person who's done answering your personal data sheet? So, let's have... As what you can see, there are questions or there are responses. So, quick response, responses. Okay, as what you can see, there is a one response. Summary, family name, Agnes, first name. So, you already receive, the person will already receive the, the response that you answered a while ago. So, dito ka, i-check mo, mo siya sa responses para malaman mo kung sino yung mga nag-response sa ginawa mo na Google Forms. Okay? So, for more, sa, sa dito na, na tayo po nagtatapos. As what you can see, successful naman yung ating ginawa ngayon, ngayon ng vlog. So, hopefully, may natutunan po pa isa sa Chinere ko this time. Sa so, hindi pa po, po nag-subscribe, nag please click the subscribe button, click the like button, and you can comment also for another blog, blog na gusto nyo uh, gawin ko para naman ma-share ko rin sa you if ever meron, di naman ako nalalaman na that certain, certain topic na gusto nyo malaman. Again, click the bell button, sub, sub button, and also the like button. Once again, thank you so much for being with me for this time. Thank you for giving me your, your time, your attention. So please, so please be there always for me. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Thank you, everyone. God bless.